guess like there we go we're we... live yeah. all right <laughs> <laughs> is this working is this thing on i'm just gonna sit here and smile <laughs> huh hello hello yeah <laughs> i'm andrew reiner it's marcus stewart down there playing the game hopefully hi guys dan tech as well <laughs> Hello, we had everyone. some uh, technical difficulties. Uh, thanks for hanging in there with us, and uh, we're going to continue on here and let us know if anything is not working. <laughs> Let's hope that Marcus has better luck on the bosses than we did on the tech stream angles. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. This is exactly the state of mind I wanted to be in for fighting uh, this super hard guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, so let, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, yeah. Let's move away from the tech, and let's talk about the game a little bit. Also, yeah. This, this, uh, Secure. This, this boss that uh, Marcus got one shot in last week, sort of a very introductory practice shot in on, is essentially the first real challenge in the game that demands that you... This is the point in the game where it says, okay, you may have been playing the rest of this game like Dark Souls, but now... You're gonna. Ha if you did you learn anything? Have you learned everything? You're gonna have to apply it all here. That's it. But you're asking me if I learned anything. Have you? Oh, uh, sure. I've learned how to uh, to deflect things. I'm still not good with the Makiri counter. That might not for that matter for this guy. I don't remember. It's been a long time. I have tips for you, Marcus. If you need them. Uh, all right. You're my tip jar. It looks. Yeah. Like it be, we could be a little louder, Marcus. I don't know. <clears throat> I'm, I'm supposedly exactly. too loud, but oh wait, Reiner is too okay. loud, but Dan's right, not loud enough. Is what I'm getting. I'm just gonna start screaming. Okay. Um, All right, I just I raised it slightly. So, okay. Also, hi chat. I cannot see you, but thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, we're going to make some serious progress in an hour and a half. Hour 15 minutes. Are I I do you predict Marcus will beat this boss today? I hope. Wow, you guys are so But this this is like, like I said, this is the first real this can be the test. But having seen what I've seen, I think that uh mas uh, Marcus's mastery will will make short work of this character, but the real challenge is lay ahead. This is basically the do you know that you're playing Sekiro and not Dark Souls boss? <laughs> because if you don't, you will never pass this boss. This is the boss that says, this is the game you're playing now. I hope you're used to it. If you're not, you can't go any further until you are. Okay. This, is, this will be interesting to see. What's Japanese for you going to learn today? It's, it's like you look at some of the other encounters later, and this is, act, this is like this very small fry. But it is the, again, it is the... Have you learned anything? Because if you haven't, we're not going to let you go any farther. Alright, here he comes. Just kind of feeling him right, out here. Right. Trying to get a sense for us. What's he doing? Alrighty. His bow is way too big. It bothers me. You got this, bud. Yeah, he's not that big. Oh, he's not. Yeah, yeah. Oh, from software games, you never have to worry about the big guys. Well, in this game, you do. But <laughs> generally, the people that are your size are more dangerous. Kind of like Doom, too, sometimes. Like the bosses that are, you know, humanoid size exactly, or yeah. wielding weapons like you are more dangerous than the big guys. Let's say, in general, that is correct throughout the entire From Software series. But there are some exceptions in this game. So. Board it up. Don't shoot me! It might just be because everything in this game is really dangerous, so I guess that makes... <laughs> there's, not near, there's not nearly as many bosses in this game as there are in the other front of the game, so... Sure. The, the ones that are here are really, really are matter. Now, obviously, there's tons of mini-bosses, I'm not talking about those. I know some joke in the comments can be like, dude, it's got like a thousand bosses. But the, the core boss fights in the game are generally tuned very well, and they're... Mostly very challenging. There's there's a couple of gimmicky ones in typical from software fashion. You gotta have some, uh, some more narrative puzzle fights. Oh, he's going ham. He, he will, and you can also go ham. That's that's the beauty of this game. You know, once you get people's patterns down, you can just tear them apart like they do it to you. It's looking pretty good. This is a, this is pretty smooth. This is definitely a learning fight. Like he's not gonna take it down this time, but. He's getting the motions, so it's good. That's that's probably the most important thing. Like, like I talked about this a little bit last week. Like, even when I'm doing a loss, losing fight, 
on one of the bigger battles in the From Software lexicon, like Medir, for instance. Dark Eater, Dark Eater Medir is probably one of the hardest fights in all souls. And it takes mastery to beat it, because Medir can kill you in two shots and has a health pool that's giant, so they make it so you like it. Even if you're trying to cheese this with levels or weapons, you can't. You have to learn the fight. So I always just try, even if I start off really badly, just keep it going, get in the rhythm, try to keep that rhythm going the next time. Oh! Well done. Hello. Oh! oh. oh. What's he doing? You got this, he's buddy. Me. Yeah, you got a life kit back for that. So, like, you know, the game is still on. Game is on. Game is afoot. Oh, God damn you. Oh, I'm so oh. Oh. <laughs> Nobody <Death>. heard that. <laughs> Death. Ugh. This guy. Oh, I would say the, the this is the the boss that I was dreading the most because when I first played this game I did beat him, but it took probably at, at least two dozen tries if I remember correctly. I mean, hey, I can work with that. We can we can do this. There are some bosses that that I may recommend we stop fighting after two episodes of just fighting that boss, but we'll see how things go. Okay, but that was a, uh, that was a good start. Luckily, those bosses encounters are, the, the really hard ones are mostly optional. There's only one that's super duper hard that's not. Okay, right, I'm going to my red light here in my room. I'm darkening yeah, my like room. It. Okay. It's a little somber. Are you gonna darken it every time I lose? Look at that, look at yeah. that mood light. A reflection of your sorrow for my failure. Yeah. <laughs> we need some like smooth jazz in the background there, Ryan. Oh you yeah. Can you, know? you play like Careless Whisper? <laughs> I don't know why it's the first song that popped in my head. It's, it's... We do have one pip down in the last encounter. Thanks, chat. Chat is really cheering you on, Marcus. They think you did a great job. And, uh, I do too. Oh, thank you, chat. And sorry oh, no! for the technical difficulties right at the top of the hour. It took us a while to figure some things out, but... <laughs> oh, no, we're, we're all better for it at the end of the day. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we, we are. Kill us kill us up. <laughs> we really do appreciate your patience. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Oh, that last hit. Oh, yeah. Get him. Get him. He's gonna do his thing. No. No. No, it's not. Look how Marcus is really getting into this. You got to, you know? Yeah, just let loose, man. Mm, just trying to like keep the pressure. Yeah, psych yourself off. Yeah. Like this is definitely a game where you get into the zone and then it just happens. Like I mean, all the From Software games do that with muscle memory. Uh, Wait, oh, this one what the? More than any other. Oh, what was that? What were you doing, man? I don't know what happened. There. I was trying you, to deal with that. He just tried to port home. Oh, I have the port selected. It <laughs> just teleports. Yeah, that would have sucked. I'm trying to get out of here. You know? <laughs> He's like, you can have this kid. I don't want him anymore. No, nope, nope, running away here, Marcus. You're in a minute. I decided I don't want to be at the whim of the job anymore. Yeah, still for people. I'm the jerky person that fights in my life. Oh, the power after. of the dragon's blood. Oh. Oh, okay. that's the, the power of the dragon's blood. That's two oh. attempts. I don't know if anyone's keeping count of how many attempts it's going to take to beat Gin, Ginny, Kenny Jiro, Kenny? Kenny Jiro, yeah. yeah. Wait, sir, B, Inferno, we definitely had a late start. Thanks for being here. Yeah. We're getting things rolling right now. We had a little bit of a technical, some technical problems, which also prevented us from having the death counter on today's stream that we made. But uh, thank was, you so much for joining us. It was a nice death counter. All right. Going back to blue. This is the uh, Obi Wan saber. Okay. Is that what it's? Use that it. Mean? Very core blue. I like it. Yeah. Just use it. Brace it. Become one with the blade. That is the name of the game. Thanks for joining us, everybody. We got uh, lots of great fights coming up here. We might just see this one. You know, I don't. Uh... <laughs> oh. Thanks, Marcus. Listen, but... I mean, listen, listen. I'm gonna tell you right now. Best case scenario, there are gonna be a few episodes of this we play that is just fighting the same boss for two hours. I like it though. That is Sekiro. That is what this game is. All right. 
but it is also, it's fascinating to not only do these encounters yourself and, and, and feel that pressure eventually, you know, eventually you destroy it, you beat the other force, but it's really great to see people learn in real time, like slowly but surely watching that muscle memory come together. Hey, Sid, thanks for joining us. Yeah, happy Friday. Nice little Pikachu emotes. Pumping up Marcus. I love that one. I use that one a lot. It's one of my favorite core Pokemon emojis. Oh, I'm still alive. Yeah. I took it right to the chest. Yeah, you know, it's a, it's a video game, Marcus. Like, no, it's <laughs> real. That's why. It's still real to me, damn it. <laughs> I don't think this game is very realistic. So, yeah, a little message from, from chat. There will be no shame in spending an entire episode on this guy. Truth. Uh, the first time I fought this guy was a long endeavor. I don't know 18 how 18 hours. It was 18 hours. No, no, Reiner. The, the hardest boss in the game took me six to eight. I don't know which. But this one only took me, like, like an hour and a half, I think. But it took me a lot because I was still, like, this... I was still refusing to play this game like Sekiro. I was still trying to play it like Souls, and I was still trying to do a lot of dodgy, dodgy stuff and, like, find my windows of attack until I realized... This is a game about parrying. This is a joke I make a lot about the From Software games. You know, you had, uh, they're like, Dark Souls, okay, we'll put a parry in this game. And then, like, people don't want to use it, right? This is like right. Bloodborne, but, like, we'll put a parry in that lets you get massive crits and counterattacks is really, really awesome. And still, people don't use it. So, like, all right, you know what? This time, we're going to make a parry, all right? Because that's the game. <laughs> like, Where do you the think the hook in Elden Ring is going to be? Oh, Elden Ring is definitely going back to Soul Fruits. I thought it was going to be horse jumping. Like, we're having so yeah, yeah we're gonna have horse combat i bet the horse combat is not gonna be great it's gonna be like something you engage with in the open mode just kind of like forget about it when you go to do the real stolzy stuff in the uh in the six ah! dungeon areas whoa ah! boom well done did you well, really uh, hold on well, hold on hold on we, hold on I... the party isn't starting yet reiner but it's close i'm um, gonna start the party Okay. I will say, yeah. This is good. Oh, look at the lights. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. calming me down. This is not first try, folks. This is like fourth try. So that's pretty good. And it, we're not done I would say yet. it took me probably <laughs> like most of those d couple dozen tries. Probably like a two thirds of that was just getting to this point. Like I remember being so upset <laughs> that the fight wasn't over because <laughs> I thought. It took so long to get to this, I was ready for it to be done, and then it's like, oh, now there's this whole other thing that I I don't know what's happening. I haven't prepared for this. But to get here on the second try, or I guess technically the third try if we count last week's first attempt, that is much better than I thought I would. Okay, this is it, Marcus. Yeah. Focus up. I am. <laughs> yeah, I got to get him. Hate me. No. No! More! Oh, no. shock! No. Well, you gotta, we saw it in the background. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We, got, we got a life. We got a life. Uh, I to, I'm gonna last long enough against them to at least get his stuff back. Yeah. Get him in the stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right in the stuff. Yo, get him in the stuff. Yeah, stop it. Stop it. Stop running around. Is that what the right stuff was about? I think so. You know, yes. I don't ask what any of those songs were back in the day because. <laughs> Every time you figure it out, it's always like something like completely terrible. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> this is aging poorly. <laughs> whoa! whoa, on, whoa I you got this! You got this! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stop! You're so close to breaking your posture. Just let it go. Just. Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! <laughs> oh, what? There what? <laughs> Yes! Oh, he did it! He's got it! What? Oh, get him again! Don't stop! <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh! Yeah! Oh my god, I did it! <laughs> what? Wow. I may have to, uh, to redo my estimates for this playthrough. Oh my god! Marcus! Man, high five! Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I'm legitimately Damn. stunned right now. I was well done. fully prepared for this to be well, the next episode done. or two. What the hell? What was that? The third try today? All right, well, I didn't think it was going to take two episodes, but but still, you did it really it was like great. Like I said, I, it took me so long to beat him the first time I played this. And I figured yes, like a right. year and a half removed from it, 
I was like, it's probably gonna take like the same amount of that longer, but no. Reiner, your blue lights worked. They did. You oh. embraced the sword, and you had the right stuff. You did, and, and then Dan balancing out with his, his Sith advice is just like, I'm like a great Jedi. I don't, I don't light need to dark. give you an excuse for that guy. You know, uh, your, your presence is just so reassuring, you know? And I got new backstabs. I, I'm glad that we're going to be... This is good. We're getting... We're, what we're past the hell? All the content now. <laughs> we're getting I, into it now. I can't believe it. <laughs> Dead Man Ramrod says uh, Marcus needs to review all from software games now. Let's not get too crazy. I, let, let him have them. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not get too wilder. <laughs> I've been on the receiving end of Dan trying to get through those games the first time. Getting texts. <laughs> Middle of the night. I have this this game is hard. <laughs> Dan, like a shocking revelation. I have never envied you, Dan, like when you know being a, a GI reader and like reading all your Dark Souls and from software so for years, I always was like, I cannot imagine having to play those games under a time crunch. They are, uh, they are excellent games and I'm glad I, I do, I'm glad I did get, get to review them, but embargo with no assistance under any circumstances is really a very different way to play those games. Yeah. I, it's, it's, it grows on you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, idiot. Big Slice Gaming, hello. Get out of here. I can't believe you're defeated this quickly. Yeah, you did an excellent job. This is, we're moving right along. This is, you know, even though we started late today, we're farther than I thought we'd be. <laughs> right? So. This is like, this is like a, a reward wow. for starting late. It's like, hey, you've already, the, the hardest fight was getting the damn stream running. <laughs> that fight has still, is still being fought. Some say. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I wish you could like. You need to put dance emotes in this game. I think. Yeah, mm. Fortnite stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely what it needs. This is the closest thing All I right. can do is a little kick thing. Well, this is big. Things have opened up a little bit here. Oh All right, Dan. God. Do you think yes. we'll ever get a From Software, Frums like Battle Royale? No. <laughs> you know the, 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 this narrative that. Oh, yeah. And I do think From has a lot of like you know considerable depth to what they to what they want to create, but like this narrative that they're, they're ever going to stop making, you know, dark fantasy ARPGs. Like why would they ever? That is what they are best at, right? If you're the if you're the master at something, you want to hone it and make it even better, right? Like I'm so confused, and I'm like, yeah, they should just make a a, a battle royale or a kart racer or you know whatever other hilarious thing that they want them to do. But some studios are just really good at doing certain things. What spin-off do you think they would do? What kind of spin-off? I think like, they, okay. keeping with the Souls-like formula, what deviation could they make? Kind of like we just saw with um, Yakuza, right? They went turn-based, kind of. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. I think what the, I think the next evolution, and something they might try, uh, is going to be something like uh, a Strand game involving a Souls universe. You know? They could do that. More online, more online components. Uh, like leaving a ladder behind for your buddy. Like, they already toy with that stuff now, right? In very right. small ways. But I think that they could that they could take it further and make something very interesting and and potentially even more like replayable and interesting in that regard than traditional souls, for instance. These guys are uncomfortably close, by the way. Soul Zelda, we're kind of getting that with it sounds like with Elden Ring with the dungeon areas, right? I mean, so Souls is you know we talk about this a lot, but I mean honestly, there are a lot of similarities between Souls games and Zelda games already. Yeah. Uh, but them specifying like kind of dungeon areas is very yeah. Zelda like. I think that that language they're using there is sort of like you have the one giant open world, right? And right. then it's got like six Dark Souls curated Yeah. You know, mini boss, mini boss, big boss, zone done, which we're all very used to in, in the Souls formula by now. So that's the impression I get that those are the dungeons, right? Uh, you did Cordoval, he destroyed Genichiro in three attempts today? Three? Yeah. Oh, he just cleared him out. I have no idea what, like, what am I supposed to pick here? <laughs> it's, I probably should have paid honestly, attention. You, you, you do you right now. I'll, I'll let you know when we have to do some quest stuff later that requires Help the hero quest. or protect hero? They seem like the same thing. Uh, 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 so uh, just, just pick like... one. I, I will make sure that you don't miss the important stuff that will lock out a boss fight later. I, it sounds like a beta code would be 
keep doing what I'm doing. Yeah, Nancy, <laughs> like we, we, like we were same. late today. We were late. late You're really, today. really weighing that awesome. good decision here. <laughs> it's just they're so similar to me. It sounds so like <laughs> I'm sure there's a big difference, and maybe just completely glossed over it. Their little conversation they're having here. I was kind of preoccupied with just how close they are right now. It's like take a step back, Wolf. Maybe. So yeah, we did have a late start for technical issues, but Marcus made up for that lost time by absolutely slaughtering Kinichiro there. I can't believe it. <laughs> Just owned it. It's weird. He did. he did. So we've been talking about all things from software. Obviously, we're talking about Sekiro. Marcus has some decisions to make now because he can actually go in a, in a number of different directions, and I will not offer assistance yeah. unless he asks. So, I actually know what I want to do right after this. Yeah, so Marcus has had... By the way, there's a couple of caveats here. Marcus has played to this point in the game before, so he does have that going in. Uh, and that knowledge has definitely been helpful here. We are going to get to a point where he has not gotten past before, and that's when things are going to get really interesting. So, yeah. just to set the table a little bit for the uh, a few appetizers for things to come. I think I'm going to go back to um, that spear mini boss that I ran for him before because I want to get a pair oh, sure. of beads. So I'm going to go murder him real quick. I can't believe yeah. that Guinness Girls, he's done. Like, Court of all, if there's a wrong way to go in a Souls game, I am always going that way first. Uh, like, like the next time I play, like I play through, when I go through Elden Ring, I'm gonna like, whichever way I decide to go first, I am going to instantly do a 180 and go the other way because I know I picked the wrong way. They get me like that every time. Look at that! I got more attack power now too. Can we do anything else? No, pair of beads and then that's that stuff. Okay. Let's see. Where yeah. was this guy at? The reservoir. Is it the reservoir? Right. Somewhere. Believe so. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> you got a big brain on Dan. Wow. I agree with you, Cordoval. I think we should. I think Marcus should go to that area before we do some of this other stuff. But that's going to be up to him. I was going to say, I don't know if this is what you guys are suggesting, but I was thinking about after killing this guy, going back to the past area, like the three years ago area, and do doing that. that. Like canonically, if you want to go. From software, part of a path. I believe that is how it is constructed. Yeah, okay. do it, man. I, I'm sure that chat is going to be with you no matter which way you decide to go next, Marcus. Oh, thank you. My chat is like, you guys are like my rider dies. They are. They are. They are. behind you here. Yeah, we're, we're yeah. family. Sure. We're like they're carrying you along. It's a parade for you. Fast and the Furious family. You know, it's all about family. It's all about family. God, that game could not go away fast enough. Uh, oh, it's so good. It's so good. I love it. It, it, can be. it brings a smile to my face every time. They're having every time. I've seen some breathing. Yeah. <laughs> the, the Anakin and Padme one, and then the, the Dom one. I'm, I'm on board for every time I see it. I don't care the... what it says. I don't care what they're mimicking or what movie they're playing off of. I love it. I haven't seen the Anakin. There are so many Marcus. I mean, you could. This, this <laughs> one, like this one, just exploded in such a way that I rarely see memes take off this high. It's weird that it took this long. There's been like ten movies, and it's been the theme of the movie sometimes, series since the first Sometimes it's just it's just the right time, right? It's just the right time for that meme. I blame Johnson. Just like just like old Long Johnson, right? Like that one, you know, just the right time and place. Oh, Marcus. Yeah, you saw that, right? <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Yes. I agree. Marcus does have the Makiri counter, and by the end of this playthrough, he will have mastered it. He'll have had to. Yeah. Because I'm, just... I'm not letting him take the easy way out on other bosses that may have spear weapons. I'm trying to make him calm down so he can reset. I mean, I guess if he figures out how the easy way out, then I'm not going to stop him. But I'm not going to tell him the easy way out unless he learns how to Makiri counter. That guy looks like he's getting up. Big guy. Not so much. Everyone else is going back to their starting positions except for the boss. He's <laughs> gradually backing up into that tree. He is we taking have... stream care with you. It's weird. Someone in the stream named uh, It's Vaughn Aken <laughs> says, uh, Reiner, I like your lighting. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but then, kind of, I mean, that's thrown shade at you guys for your lighting. Oh, yeah. But then he throws shade at me when he says, It's Vaughn Aken says, uh, Marcus and Dan, I like your outfits today. Thank you. Yeah. 
But my uh, my Emperor Palpatine outfit is pretty styling. I agree. What about what about me? <laughs> you already you already got props for the lighting. What else do you want? Well, props for my shirt. Oh, okay. I wear pretty much every day. So. Uh, Left in my face. Yeah, yeah, gang. Before everybody gets too deep in the weeds on this stuff, anime and Loki, let's try to keep chat spoiler free, please, so that everyone yes. can enjoy yes. that fun stuff. I will say I am watching Loki, and I love it, and I loved the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and WandaVision. I think they're on fire. Everything they do right now is just, it's its great. Yeah, Loki's been fun. That last episode was good. I'm seeing uh, Black Widow tonight. Oh! In a theater! My first theater Wait. experience in over a year. This is just bragging at this point. <laughs> you guys have seen it too, aren't you? I forgot who said that they were seeing it. You guys I'm gonna know? try to stream it tonight, maybe? Okay. Can I? Yeah, yeah, you should be. For like 30 bucks. Pay for it on. That'll yeah, be what? You know, it's 20, okay. 25 bucks or something? It's like 30. Yeah. On Disney, Disney bonus time. Disney Plus Plus that's bonus. <laughs> yes, that's the name of it. <laughs> Isn't it Premier Access or something like that? I don't know. It's like, wait a minute, I already paid yeah. for Disney Plus. See, my thing is like, I was like, I've been waiting for the perfect movie to get me back into a theater, and I've seen every Marvel film, either mm -hmm. opening night or opening weekend. So I was like, well, I got to keep the streak going. So this will be the this will be the first one since Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> that I've been in a theater for. Not bad. I don't think I've been in a theater since Endgame. So. <laughs> Sonic was mine, yeah. Sonic was my last one. Oh, no, no, no. Then I saw uh, Godzilla vs. Kong. Oh, we saw that during... I came, yeah, right uh, after we kind of... Everybody was vaccinated and all that stuff. We went and saw it. It was funny because it was like, it was supposed to feel like, okay, we're getting out of the out of the pandemic, you know, like... But there was hardly anyone in the theater, so it kind of had this post-apocalyptic feel to it. <laughs> Almost worse than just the, the pandemic itself, but... Um, it was fun to go. How clean was it? I've heard stories of people going to theaters like during good. the pandemic and saying like it's just ridiculously clean in a way that they're not used to. Yeah, but theater. like think about it. There's not gonna be anybody there, and you can get yeah. like it's totally cool to get up and get your your extra popcorn that nobody ever gets because you don't have to worry about stepping over anybody. Right. Yeah, but it's so clean. People are like, damn, yeah, it took it took a myself, pandemic for no you to clean the here. theater. <laughs> like it should technically be like this all the time. <laughs> Well, that is a good point, yeah. <laughs> I just want real butter on my popcorn again, damn it. All right? That's what I want. When has that ever been a thing in theaters? Are you kidding me? Real butter? You get that, like, These weird kids. fake butter. <laughs> no, we had real butter when I was growing up uh, at the theaters, okay? Oh, yeah. I mean, that's, that changed butter. a long time ago. I don't know I don't know if I've ever had real butter, but I rarely buy popcorn. I'm not a huge concession oh. guy when I go to the movies. Oh, my God. I'm not a huge popcorn guy. Like, I don't mind it, but I've never bought it for myself. But if someone else gets it, I am happy to mooch off of them. You gotta you know get the popcorn. I, I don't think I, I can might, for you. I might get day. something. <laughs> I don't, like, take half their bag of popcorn. I'll do, like, hey, can I get, like, one or two? I'm not the, I'm not the jerk guy that's like, two, hey, can what? I... I'm not the guy that's like, you know, when you offer chips to someone and you tell them, like, hey, you can take a little bit, and they grab, like, half the bag. I'm not that guy. <laughs> I like. Not yeah, only like, is, is Marcus a popcorn bandit, he doesn't have real butter on it. I, I mean, doesn't I mean like that's popcorn. not my fault. That's what I get from the theater. This is sacrilege. <laughs> I didn't. I, I would get real butter if I could. I just eat what they give me. <laughs> I used to sell popcorn for Boy Scouts door to door. Okay, I think I know a thing or two about popcorn. Okay. I had to go but up to people's you know doors and, and convince them that they should buy popcorn from a strange child. What do you know about this guy, though? I mean, uh, yeah, for a strange child, the only thing I'm buying is peppermint cookies. <laughs> nobody, that's what I used to tell him. Like, nobody wants to buy popcorn door to door. That doesn't compete with cookies like Girl Scouts. Yeah. You know, Thin Mints. Never oh, been. God. I could only get them to buy <laughs> yeah. out of guilt or like, oh, this kid's like a cute eight-year-old. Oh, God. Just him. You're scaring me, Marcus. What's wrong? You're scaring me so much. I'm so startled right now. <laughs> Be being in that closed, enclosed space with that dude is really making me uncomfortable. <laughs> you really shouldn't be. It looks house. like it's making your character it's Kiro uncomfortable as well. All right, how do I do that to Kiro? This seems like a good time trial. Right? Yeah, you go as into I, it. As I die. <laughs> I mean, you can look on. You can look on the menu, but basically, I know you have you, to you dash forward, into right? It. You dash into it, and that's it. You don't look, block look or the, anything. You just dash it. into it. It's it's in the menu. It's I the checked menu. the menu last time, and I couldn't. I didn't believe it. I was like, it just doesn't seem like this makes sense. <laughs> this 
see, look. Hold on. It doesn't seem like it really says how to do it. It's kind of talking around it. It is nearly impossible to perceive the speed of a thrust, but not for the sharp eyes of a shinobi. Use this to stomp. It doesn't really tell me. Like, I just want to lay it out, like, hit this button. <laughs> Hang on. Well, I'm going to go look it up, just in case. Yeah, you just perform a step dodge in the direction of the enemy. Yeah, why can't don't even need to have, Don't even need to be locked on. Yeah, why can't it just say that? Why has it got to be all... So you direct, your, you, direct, you direct the step dodge into the thrust attack. It's that simple. It only works on spear guys. Right? Um, it seems like... Any, th any thrust attack. Okay. Which spears are off. Okay, guys, it seems weird to step on the sword. Yeah. You can, though. Any thrust attack. Those are dogs. You can't make your counter a dog. <laughs> Seems like a mistake to me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that'll help a ton against this spear dude and every other spear dude in the whole game. So it's good to learn it as soon as you can. This is probably not the intended learning fight for the Makiri counter, by the way, but it is one you can definitely learn it on. I should probably do it on the regular spear guys, is what you're saying. No, there's another spear mini boss that we haven't seen yet that's a better trainer, so to speak. Trouted, again, I only give him help if he asks for it. That's that's how we're doing this playthrough. Did you see the way he beat Genichiro? He doesn't need my help. Somehow this guy is hard. At least because he's got his Why is Honda Daddy coming up here? Honda Daddy wants to hang out. <laughs> He's, he heard what you said about popcorn. He is not pleased. <laughs> he, is, he is a huge popcorn. That He's boy just... takes real butter on his popcorn. All right. I'm more of a candy guy. If uh, I'm going to buy anything from the theater, I'm like, maybe some m ms Sour Patch Kids. Uh, I could, you know, candy at theaters just never sat well with me when popcorn was available. Milk bread. You know, when I was feeling really, really, really saucy, I'd get like the nachos or the hot dog, but it was always with popcorn. I've got the, the occasional the, hot dog. Or like, or like, you know, the non-movie the non -movie food at the movies. Look at this. Why? He's never yeah, come up I, here before. Look he at heard what you said. He heard, he <laughs> knows <laughs> what you said. Why are all three of them crowding here? Oh, what's he doing? Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't like this. I mean, I'm glad they're not actually coming in here, but I don't think Honda Daddy could physically fit. But... Well, okay. you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Life finds a way. <laughs> oh, what? Honda Daddy will find a way. Yeah, if Raptors can open a door, he can get it in there. All right, kill your friend, guys, and then go back inside. Oh, we're not going to be happy about that. Okay, well, he oh, just boy. his way into the room. I know. I I don't know why you're fighting. You're, you're making that even harder to <laughs> fight him in here. I told you, it's like, giant weapons, small room? Doesn't seem like a great idea. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid going outside, all the ads are there. That's why I'm afraid. So, I mean, it's... I agree that this is probably I mean, that makes sense, Cordoba. Okay. not the way to go. I keep thinking that somehow he'll be at a disadvantage here, too, but... Marcus, you do you. I, I believe. I saw your Genesis hero fight. I, I, you'll, you'll, handle you'll find a way. Oh, I did it! I think I did it yeah. there. Did you? Did you do it there? It looked like it I, did. I, I guess chat can confirm, but it looked like he grabbed it and I was, like, I was reading chat, yeah. Then yes, you did it. So you, you can do that for every thrust attack, and it basically... Allows you to trivialize some encounters that would be very difficult. Can I even do it for the, uh, the like red ones, the ones that are yeah. like, super strong? Yeah. Okay. Actually, I'm so tired of dealing with this guy. Just... There we go. Finally, get shot. There we go. You don't have a neck anymore. No, stop! Huh? Snitches get stitches, buddy. Marcus doing work out here. Oh, let's try on this guy. He's... Yeah! I did it! Hey, there you go. There you did. And you got it. Everyone's angry. Listen, I know, I know chat's trying to be super freaking helpful, and I love you for it. I'm kind of glad Marcus can't see chat, because he's trying to play it without the tips until he needs the tips, right? Is Chad angry with me right now? No, no, but they're not. They're actually, okay. Chad's really happy that you landed the McCurry, but they're also trying to like, 
point out some other uh, things that you may have missed. Yeah. Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, like I said, I can't see any of that, but. I mean, well, what's yeah, uh, but, what's yeah. a. It would defeat the whole purpose of this thing. Well, I mean, what's a. <laughs> what about this? Tell me one of the tips. What's a harmless tip? Or what's something that you haven't already mentioned? about what's happening right now. I will I will take whatever one you would like to give me from the pool. Which one would I like to give you from the pool? All right. Uh, you can hold R1 to charge an attack, to charge attack, which is helpful. Oh, I've, I've been doing that. Okay. Well, that was one of the tips from, from the stream. Okay. Well, I mean, that doesn't count. I already know I can do that. I think it counts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, give me give me something I haven't heard. <laughs> well, you I knew how to do it. I, I, I was it. do. I've been using it. I used it on Ginjiro, and I've used it on other enemies before. I think Clogs is right. Wait, was uh, right about what? Nothing, Marcus. Play the game. <laughs> Wait, actually, look. Oh, I can get him now. He's. Oh yeah, he's making his little rounds here. Thinks he's safe. Oh, yeah, sir. Yeah, there it is. See, first pip on a mini is great. Having an, an ad in the fight, not so great, but I bet you can pull. <laughs> oh! Oh, whoa, what was that? <laughs> what? No! Okay, he got a life, but that was Ooh. some... That weird camera judder there threw me off. That was uh, some bougie. I feel like they went off late. Here's the free one. You, you don't have to rely on fireworks for humans. It's an OP tactic against beasts, but it should be a last ditch effort against humans, really. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll give it one more, and then we'll go to the past. Yeah, there's, there's lots of different. Sure. Listen, there's lots of different things we can do right now. I mean, like, basically the world is as open as it's ever gonna get in the game at this point after Genichiro. It's our oyster. You can go in several different directions. Um. Yeah, Marcus is doing a great job. Thanks for being here, gang. We appreciate you. Thanks for being here today. And, uh, what if I... Before Snitchy... Oh, wait, no, this guy's gonna be fine. Marcus has been doing a good job today. We're very proud of him, and... I'm glad that he's got some t some tenacity showing on this on um, Spear mini boss. A lot of people... I do find this particular mini boss a little blind. And the kill on the top. It will help anybody with spear. Right. But let's let's not short change what Marcus has done here today. Definitely not. Put down that boss with three I mean what, three attempts, maybe four, we don't know. It was like it was like three. Yeah, we, we had counters. Very, very good. Like yeah. What are you playing this weekend, Mr. Tech? That's a good question. I think I'm going to play Monster Hunter Stories, too. Uh, Ooh. If I like it, then I'm going to keep playing it. If I don't like it, then I'm gonna... You're going to binge it. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm going to binge it if I end up liking it. Now... You going to stream it? Yeah, probably. Depend... Yeah, probably. Uh, then I've also been checking out some new MMORPGs uh, that I want to check out for business and pleasure this weekend. Crowfall, which is a new MMO, PvP-based. Uh, which I've taken a little dive into, but not nearly enough. And then Ashes of Creation, which people have been waiting for a billion years, also is having a uh, content creator weekend, which is the first time most people see it. And on top of that, always Dead by Daylight, still doing a ton of that, and Magic the Gathering. I gotta get in there with you. Dead by Daylight's great. Are and for those of you, I know a lot of you sent me messages two weekends ago to get Reiner to play DVD, and I will tell you, and he can prove, and he, he will confirm this, I did send him a text asking to play. I was okay. going to say, like, wasn't that supposed did. to happen last weekend? Yeah, I got busy. I know, life happens. That's what I try to tell people. They're like, just do it, man. It's so easy. I'm like, no, you know, it's not always so easy to make these things happen. <laughs> do uh, it! But, but it's out there now, folks. Me and Ryder will eventually be in DVD together, I hope. Trying to survive. Um, Marcus, you're doing a great job. I will field that one question in the chat. Uh, did I play Jedi, Jedi Fallen Order? I did. I did not finish it. I fell off what? about halfway. <gasps> I, I, I didn't love it that much. I gotta be honest with you. I'm okay saying that. That's fine. I like the game. It, it had a lot of different things in it. Like, it had a lot of elements of different kind of stuff. But, like, it didn't really commit to any of those. So, it did... Sub alert's not popping up. Uh, shrouded. Yeah, we, again, we had some technical difficulties today that took away our death counter and our sub alerts and all that other fun stuff. They'll be back on the next stream, 100%. Um, thank you for the sub, by the way. Yeah, uh, really thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. So, 
Yeah, we had him working yesterday. Believe me, we are doing all kinds of magic behind the scenes here on the stream scene. Uh, and we're getting there. We're getting there. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, I, can, I forgot I can get new skills. Um, I guess I got to get these to get to the other stuff. Well, I know it has been described as Star Wars Souls. I did not see it that way. Um, I don't want to capitalize all of our time here. We're watching our boy Marcus. But yeah, it just, it just didn't work for me. It was like a little bit Souls, a little bit Skiro, a little bit Metroid, a little bit Star Wars, and I just didn't like a little bit of anything, right? I would have rather had going all in on one out, one or two elements. But anyway, that's how I see it. Um, and yeah, yeah. Marcus, what are we doing here? I bought two skills. <clears throat> I got the okay, vault I like over that. so I can backstab people during combat. That seems useful. And then I got uh, this thingy, little Super Saiyan charge looking thing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, you want to get Ichi we got to get you Ichimoji at one point here. Ichimoji. So eventually. eventually. I don't know if you even have the the right tree for it yet. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let's okay, go. Yeah, as Let's I go. said, like, I don't see that. But I go. All right, we're going to teleport. What color should I go for the rest of this stream here? <laughs> you have green? You have Reiner, green having yet. fun with colors here. Yeah, you want I a little that, green? Yeah. I think the blue works best. I could really green it up. All right. So Harada's state is the. Yes, right. That is the. Past. Let's go do that for a bit. Let's uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> do some time. Oh, wow! Now Reiner is ready to play Dead by Daylight. Okay. Almost looks Matrixy for a second there. Need some like like this Japanese digital rain to pour in front of you. Mm. Oh, dude, that's like I want digital rain. That's like how the, do I get digital rain? That's like the coolest thing that Ow. like only kind of makes sense. I don't know. That seems like the the ultimate way to be like, how can I look cool really fast? I don't know. I'll put some Matrix digital rain on my. <laughs> I want digital rain. I I am not resting until I get digital rain. That's probably really easy to get. Let's see. So we are back in the past. We're back in the Harada Estates. You can actually do this part of the game at any point in the game. Or never at all. You don't actually have to do it, which is kind of weird, but there's lots of good stuff here. I think a lot of players face the mini boss here and never come back. <laughs> can you come back? I, I know I've. You can always come back here if you want. Okay, they're not alerted to me. That's good, at least not totally. here can I go back there doesn't look like it it's like I gotta go this way Reiner I forgot to ask did you ever beat this game uh no we never got through it okay do you remember how far so I play all the souls games with a friend of mine we passed the sticks oh okay. but I don't know where we we fell off on it it was after the snake I know we did big snake stuff and that took us a long time. Let's see. Sure. Yeah, it's a. I think we're. You know, I, I have faith. Oh, wait, someone I got found this. Someone found it. Oh, it's just through. What the? What was that? What the? Stop doing stuff. You guys. Oh, he sees me. Okay. His friend did, but he did. <laughs> yeah, those scouts and their torches. What are they doing? What are they even scouting? Uh, they're scouting for those mutant chickens. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the real dangers. You, I feel like being a video game guard has to be the most boring job ever because you're just patrolling the same little route for no real reason. You're like, I'm in this hallway that has a clear dead end. I don't know why I need to keep looking at it, but that's what my boss said. And I, I would like a I would like a backstory on like a an NPC guard and what they do when the protagonist isn't like hanging out. It's a good uh, title for a book, NPC, and just have it be about an NPC that kind of comes into his or her own and. Um, yeah, that could be cool. 
the things that they kind of they think about when their mind wanders because there's nothing happening. It's their question. Well, we don't know what's happening here when we're not here. There could be a, many other ninjas, you yeah. know, trying to break into this place at all times. That's why the guards are so heavy. Yeah, it someone like said anything. that's a movie, Reiner. <laughs> Is there a movie that's exactly what I just said? I mean, there's that Ryan Reynolds movie that's similar, where he's like, he did that free man movie where he discovers he's just oh, that's an what he's saying. Is that what he's talking about? Yeah. Okay. He's not a guard, but like, that's kind of what that is. Right? We don't know. Is that I out yet? Yeah. Never seen that. Nobody's seen that movie. I think it's really, if it's not out yet, I think it's another one. You better go to the theater and get some popcorn and check that one out. Are you buying? You want to buy I will bring real butter. Okay. Put on the popcorn. I'll let you buy and I'll get some. How about that? Can I get like a two pieces? Maybe. You can't say no. You know that, right? I, you cause, I, have I you ever said no to someone it. that offered like that asked if they can have some of your popcorn? You know how big of a jerk yes. you look like. <laughs> oh, you have, Reiner. You've gone I mean, to the I've movies with too. someone and someone said like, "Hey, can I get a few pieces of popcorn?" And you straight up said no. I had a friend that was notorious for just always never buying anything and just relying on others. Oh. And then would just, yeah, so I, I put my foot down. So did my other friend, though, too. So. You kind of have to, because some of those, yeah. the, the popcorn the popcorn people <laughs> especially, right? Because they always be like, I just want a few pieces, and then half the bag is gone. That's Marcus. I, no, I, like, I said I don't do that. And they're like, uh, I, uh, I, yeah, that's what you say. I said if I if I say a few pieces, I get a few pieces. That's it. Yeah, how many times do you say a few pieces? And, I don't then, like popcorn like you guys do. <laughs> he won't answer the question completely. A few pieces is like a like a small handful, like but not uh -huh. a full handful, like you know, like five maybe. Five yeah, times. Reiner, they, they clean out half the bag and then they look at you like, Are you gonna get a refill on that? Yeah. And you're just like, Are you are you kidding me right now? Like they'll ask you like during a big action scene. They're like, Hey, can you get up and get like, you know, some more popcorn? We're all out. Oh, you guys, We're all out. You guys We're all out. Yeah. <laughs> See, I've never had these. You and guys the got some. like ten bucks now. <laughs> you I guys... know, right? <laughs> See, I've never done that. You guys got some mooching ass friends. Uh -huh. <laughs> <Sounds> uh <-huh. laughs> I would never make anyone get up from a movie and refill the popcorn only for me to eat it. No. I ain't about that. Well, there, there was the other kind of popcorn butcher that they want. They get up to get the refill. That's how they justify it. They're like, they eat half the bag. Like, right. oh, no, okay, I'll go get, I'll go get a refill. Don't worry about it. And then they just take the bag back and they keep eating it. It's just like, what's going on here? <laughs> They're like, well, I, 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 you know, pulled my weight in this arrangement. Okay. So I got up the and bag, got the popcorn. The bag has so. suddenly changed ownership over the course of that <laughs> transition. Then you, before you realize it, you're the one asking, can I, hey, can I get a few pieces? Yeah, <laughs> I, knew, I knew this one dude who you know, was the absolute worst about it. He would go out, he would get the refill, and he would dump all the toppings that he knew that nobody else liked on it. Oh wow! So he would completely seal the deal on that bag. Nobody else would touch it after that. He put like all like you know, if, if you had people that didn't like garlic powder or whatever, you just dump it all over that thing so that people wouldn't want oh, see, it. See, that's the next level mess. That like at that point, you may as well just you may as well just pickpocket my wallet at that point. <laughs> there, there are tactics involved here, right? Just like in Sekiro, all right? I saw the most next level thing ever. Someone got a oh bucket of popcorn and a box of milk duds and mixed them together. <laughs> that's, that's good. That sounds delicious. But I know, but I was like, God, that might be a great idea. It is. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was just like, wow, I'm not that bold or that brave, but that that looks great. That's good stuff. Do it for Black oh. Widow, Marcus. Yeah, I would do that. I'm going by myself, so should I do that for? I think I might mooch off the strangers. If I could next still eat though. candy, I would totally do that. That's, a deli that's that sounds delicious. And yeah, Zang Master in chat says peanut M and M's and popcorn. That also sounds delicious. That does sound good, actually. Chocolate and popcorn, great combination. Popcorn and snow caps. No, I'm gonna have to put my foot down on that one. That is not a good combination. I don't. Think, I think I've had snow caps once in my life. Yeah, Are everybody they, has snow caps once only, and then they're just like, I don't want those again. They I don't never even, think about. Them. Yeah, like I don't even know if I like them or not. I think I was like a kid, but every time I see them, I think about getting them for like a half second because I it, out of sheer curiosity. Yeah, nobody. Okay, everybody has snow caps once, and that's it. That's the. Only <laughs> Anyway, what are is this? It's just chocolate chip with like sugar things on it, or yeah, right? That's it. Like everybody, everybody knows what they are, right? But but nobody can remember what they taste like because you had them once and you never wanted them again. Anyway, thanks for being here today, everybody. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this movie conversation as we move through the monster mash of uh, Sekiro here. We're doing a good job. We're doing a good job on movies and Sekiro. It's good stuff.
The internet peasant, don't say GI is dead to you because I, because I took a crack at snow caps. All right, nobody likes snow caps. Oh, oh, do people like snow caps in chat? Is there a snow cap? Oh, oh yeah. There, there, Defense there, force. The internet peasant. The internet peasant has decreed that snow caps must be must be have their day in the sun. Hey, I never said they were bad. I just. I had him once That's and okay. then forgot. You don't have I, to. I, I, I did it. I did it. All right. <laughs> I, I'll you it you'll take the bullet. <laughs> I had a phase where Butterfinger BBs were kind of like those. Oh, yeah. It was a really good. Yeah. I love Butterfinger BBs. Butterfinger ice cream, Butterfinger BB, Snickers ice cream. Oh, God. Yeah. Snickers anything. Snickers is my favorite candy, so... Snickers is a very good candy. I, I, think, I agree with Marcus on something. This is I didn't think that was going to happen today. <laughs> so I'm glad we got here. <laughs> it's been a long road, but we you know, we got we got our destination there. We, we found we found a place that we could come together, Marcus, and agree on something. So I'm glad. So we'll, we'll go to a movie together and we'll just get a bunch of Snickers. And I'll ask you if I can okay. have some of yours. Okay. okay. You know, honestly, if you froze the Snickers and then chopped them up into little pieces and put them in the popcorn, I think that would be an ideal solution. It's a lot of prep. Have you guys ever snuck food into the theater? Yeah. <laughs> like, Who hasn't? Like big stuff, though. Like meat. Like not like the not like you know the stuff that you see on Seinfeld and like the boondocks, you know, bring, <laughs> like Tupperware is full of <laughs> a tray of spaghetti or something. No, but like, yeah, I've brought stuff in. What's the Who biggest, hasn't? Everybody like, has. What's the biggest thing you've snuck in? Burgers. Oh, <laughs> See, that's a meal. <laughs> you just said I've never brought anything like spaghetti, and you brought in a full burger. Hey, a tray of spaghetti is different than bringing in like Burger King, which is what I think the biggest thing I've brought in. <laughs> See, he brought fries with it too. He brought a combo meal into the. I don't think we. I don't think we brought fries. I think we went to the that nice scent menu, and we just like piled up, and then we went to see the movie. <laughs> Did you like shove it up your shirt? How'd you get it in there? It, we. I lived in Michigan. All right. It was very cold. Big coats. Very uh, easy yeah. to do. Yep. So you can't do that in Florida. <laughs> you gotta get a little bit more creative or just brazen and just hope that the teenager like blocking access between you and the theater does not care listen, listen to me listen to me have you ever seen anybody get stopped never ever in your whole life you've never seen anybody get stopped and said i'm sorry you can't bring that in here yeah. that does not happen yeah so Nobody cares. see like a teenager I'm a tackle for a family. the rules oh, are you writer you respect yeah, the rules yeah but I, I did sneak in like court of all a bottle of water and i thought i was gonna get kicked out of there for a bottle of water I've had oh, those, yeah. I've had those moments too where I brought in bottles of water and like in my mind like this shouldn't be a big deal it's water but then there's that anxiety of like I'm gonna get tackled by security. <laughs> yep. Security. Tased. Oh, boy. Yeah. Thrown out that exit door. Yeah. I don't think that is a real thing. I don't think that'll ever happen to any. Whatever. All right. Fair enough. That's it. So I've... They've got you. They, they've got you like the the fear. I've snuck in some like 7-Eleven chicken wings before. Like in those little cups that they put them in. It's wait, like wait, 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 wait! You you attack me for burgers, which are way more of like a I can hold this in one hand. Fine, <laughs> wings. You gotta dig in there, all right? So you gotta be in there, like you know, looking up at the screen while you're tearing into those things. That's way worse. I mean, than once burgers. you're in a theater, it doesn't matter. No one's gonna check you, you in the, the theater. Wings? You just gotta get pat. You like just eat it like a wing. The bones in? I mean, I wait. keep it in a container until the movie's over and I throw them out. Okay, okay, but no, you know, that's a way bigger deal than bringing burgers in. I had like a covering for them, so it was easy to kind of like put it in my. Cause I think I was wearing a jacket. Um, okay, we got somebody who brought a chicken leg in a rotisserie bag. Now that's <laughs> next level, right there. That is to the point where you start to bring in like the some baked ziti in a tray, right? Like that's that's what we're getting here. Yeah, at that point, you're like that Boondocks episode where they went to the movies and they have like an entire meal divided into yeah. Tupperware containers that they snuck exactly. in. Exactly. <laughs> I want someone to bring in a six foot sub. And share it with six friends. Yeah, like figure out a way to get that in there. It's not a bad idea. Everybody wins in your row. I bet you could do it now with the. I feel like theaters might be more lax now. There's less people around because of you know the pandemic. I mean, yeah, the theaters have been like, I, I've you know I haven't gone, but like I see the screenshots from Twitter from everybody. It's just like, hey, I want to see a movie tonight, and it's just like a pan around the theater, and they're the only ones in there, like at all. <laughs> at this point, they're just happy that you're there, so they don't go out of business. And they're like, if you want to bring a Thanksgiving dinner in with you, whatever, just please give us your money. <laughs> Come see the movie. Hey, they're yeah. saying uh, Black Widow is going to bring in over a hundred million. It'll be the first post-pandemic movie to to break that. And Fast and Furious did really well too. 
I, if anything can do it, it's got to be. All things considered, yeah. Yeah, one of the one of the Marvel line to get people back into the theaters after uh, after CDC guidance has opened things up. Really, the I only don't thing think... they saved all the blockbusters, right? Yeah, outside of inflation, you know, raising ticket prices, there's so much, there's so fewer uh, theaters now. I don't think anything will break the records now, like Avatar and yeah. uh, Force Awakens and all that stuff. I think that's all untouchable. I think. I think the records can be broken when they add battle passes to movie tickets and stuff like that. <laughs> when they, Season pass. When they start, when they start finding value ads to put on the ticket that give you like they've had deals. some. No, I, I mean, but it's gonna be, it's gonna be like giving you posters yeah, and stuff yeah. at the theater. Yeah. I mean, they're gonna do stuff like that, right? It's gonna become an experiential, right. like you know, three different ticket tiers. One of them gives you like all digital access to some stuff that would, they collab with another project. That's how they're gonna bring the box office back. The director. So they were giving away codes in the Fortnite comic for downloadable items like Batman items, Batman armor and uh, Harley Quinn, all that stuff. Those comics were selling like gangbusters. Like exactly. they were going bonkers. Yeah, it reminds uh, me of the, you know, the WoW TCG. I, I knew very few people who actually played that card game, but they all bought the cards so they could get the mouse in the game. Um, and Marcus is at the, the first, the canonically first spear boss right here. Rides to the theaters. That's called Ball of America. You have that. <laughs> uh, so this is the first spear mini boss that lets you really practice the mini. Even it has right. like, you know, <laughs> yeah, he even gets a little. A very hey. Do, do you know how, what the curie counter is? Because uh, it's really handy. That arrow guy is like... yeah. uh, By the way, Chad, I want to thank thank everybody for participating in this amazing discussion about candy, movie theaters. And you. How have you uh, cheated the theaters? theaters? So the red symbol means you can't, uh, they're, it's very dangerous, Stang Master, and there are only some ways to counter it. It's not necessarily unblockable. Uh, there are different techniques that can do it, uh, but it means you can't traditional counter it. Uh, you still get hit. So there are ways to handle those. You have to handle those attacks differently. Oh, I can't get in there until. Okay, well, you you can't you can't trad block it. You can block it like in this case, he can Makiri counter. It. Red attacks are special. The lecture on theater safety. I was just talking about bringing Burger King into the theater. I don't think I'm giving any lectures on theater safety. Now to safely bring in some contraband. Yeah, so it's, so Zang, it means you can't it means you can't stop it with this thing. It's just like a bunch of other stuff you can do. Oh, ho, 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 you see that? Well done, Mark. I didn't think that guy would give you any trouble, especially after you've taken on the other. That's safe. Yes, your data. Checkpoint. Give me that. Woo. Marcus is, is doing it very well. What the? Hey, he's not supposed to come over here. <laughs> you saw that guy? Hey. He can come over there, you know. He's he wants to inspect your 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 pockets to see if you bring in anything in the theater. <laughs> okay, what else can we get here? We can get Shinobi eyes. It's like the damage inflicted, the posture. Oh, I should probably get that for my Makiri. And then what's over here? There's lots of good stuff. You can't really go wrong. You can always farm more points for this. These skills kind of like they help a lot. They're the only progression you really get outside of the secret thing that I'm not going to really go into. Because uh, it's not relevant until much, much later. Oh, he's gone. Let's go over here. Let's go around over here. Side around. So look at this. Marcus is like looking around. What's up with that? Oh, You're just supposed to go in a straight line until you find the boss. Come on, Marcus. I didn't even see these guys. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, Port of all, what you say is true. The game really opens up uh, at that point, once you get to the castle, and you can go a lot of places and do a lot of things. Again, we're not really trying to guide Marcus in any particular direction here. He's just going to kind of go where he wants to go when he wants to go there. And that actually works out fine. That's a uh, that's an organic place for you. All organic. Nothing. Yeah, we only bring organic food into the movie theater. Oh, yeah. I asked the people at the concession stand uh, where their popcorn is looking right. sourced or not. That's why I bring in my own green beans, <laughs> because I don't like theirs. You know? 
<laughs> I hold up the line for 10 extra minutes. <laughs> Wanting to yeah. know everything about the food. Yeah, everyone loves me when I go to the theater. We got about 19 minutes left. 19 minutes left, okay. So I hope what do we got? everybody's enjoying it. We're, we're... Marcus may or may not get to another big fight. I think he will in 19 minutes. Uh, it's awesome having you all here today. Thank you so much for coming. I know we started a little late, but Marcus cleaned up Genichiro so quick that, you know, we, we got that time back, essentially. <laughs> we did. We <Yeah>. really did. <laughs> Although, some of the best replay episodes are the ones where we're just battling for our lives over and over and over. We're, we're gonna stress have those. Guests. Yeah. We're, we're gonna have those in this place. There's no way around it. Like, there are at least, there are three bosses I can think of <laughs> that are actually just gonna be nightmares. I don't care how good Marcus is. <laughs> uh, Palooza says, picturing Dan walking into the theater with a pocket full of green man. <laughs> just falling yeah, out of your pants. I've never done that. <laughs> but a giant bursting BK bag with like seven double cheeseburgers and a bunch of nuggets. That did happen. You want to hear a stupid food idea I had recently? Like, you know how oh, some no, fancy restaurants... Day. <laughs> like how some fancy restaurants will do like the flambe table side for something, you know? What? You know, what like a flambe, yeah. like when they wheel the little table so out. Like, yeah, yeah. So like table oh, side okay. Flop. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like... I want to start like a, maybe like a soul food restaurant where you do that still, but like with fried chicken. So you just wheel like a, a fryer next to someone and just drop that some chicken in there. That sounds like a really bad safety hazard. Like somebody, you're going to get sued <laughs> after like two days, right? Because some, some kid's going to stick his hand in there. Well, no, well, I mean, that's their fault. Why would you do that? Well, that isn't how it <laughs> well, works. Be like, well, they, are, they have fondue, right? At, that's yeah. boiling oil, basically. Uh, that's molten you know, cheese. I, I wonder if you could have, you could, I, yeah, you could get a grievous injury out of the fondue, but I think a fryer, a straight up fryer oh, that's, is even that's more the next level. Yeah. I mean, you might have grease <laughs> popping on you if it's too close, but at the same time, who doesn't want to hear that nice crackle of oil? Think about uh, how greasy that face. floor would be. I mean, yeah. It, <laughs> People would be slipping like, around. This sounds like all kind of bad ideas, Marcus, but if you can get it going, uh, I'll come in for some. I mean, that brings me back to one of my childhood memories, and maybe people out there in our chat know this. I hope someone does. Maybe you two do as well. There was a restaurant ca called uh, Ground Round, and they would serve peanuts. Yeah, and they like to throw the whole them on the floor. Yeah. yeah, so the entire floor, I kid you not, the entire floor was like peanut shells when you're, you're walking on it. Like, they did not clean that up. That was like part of the gimmick. Yeah, it was gross. <laughs> I knew, I knew I, I, there was a bar where I went to college that had the same concept, and it was horrible because of it. It was called the Peanut Barrel, a, a great bar. You said fits the name, yeah. Yeah, but they they basically the, the, the deal was unlimited free peanuts, and uh, after you know after nine or ten p.m., man, you couldn't even like walk in there because there's just peanuts flung everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, here's the description. During the 1970s and 1980s, Ground Round was well known for its children's parties, showing silent movies and cartoons on a big screen, a mascot named Bingo the Clown, and for passing out whole peanuts where consumers were not discouraged from dropping the shells on the floor. Yeah, that was the place. I mean, see, if you can do that, then I, I think my chicken restaurant. No, yours has a fryer involved, Marcus. You're going to kill somebody. Are you throwing the chicken bones on the ground and just well, leaving no, them? No, you're leaving them on your plate. You're eating it the same way. It's just that it's cooked in front of you. I want to know if anyone chat, if you want fried chicken prepared table side, fryer right up next to you, you get to see it get <laughs> cooked. Maybe they give you like a little screen you can put over your face so you don't get popped in the eye from all the grease. I, 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 please talk to a lawyer before you do this. <laughs> Listen, you don't know if it's a failure until you do it, you know? You gotta sign a waiver when you go in. Yeah. That covers you, Marcus. That's yeah. true, that's a good That's a good point. Oh geez, that really good. Then, then it can get as crazy as you want it to be. Yeah, because you chose this. Or it needs to be, yeah. I died somehow. I got. I caught fire despite standing on an area with no fire. And I'm still catching fire, what the hell? Uh, yeah, you don't, wanna, you don't wanna be on there, Marcus. This area is awesome. Yeah, you don't have to go there. Oh. Well, uh, you got the thing here, right? You got the item? Yeah, I got the key to the thing. Okay. He said it's back at the entrance or something. Then you can move right along. Oh, what's that? Is that an item there? Oh, no, that's a light. Is there? Oh. I thought it was, like, gold on top, but it's clearly a guiding light. 
Yes. Hmm. Does anyone in chat want to go to my restaurant, by the way? I'm trying to oh. get some. Marcus, you're some getting every, Everybody. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. We have a guy named uh, Biscuits with Davey. That's a phenomenal name. He was uh, in yesterday's chat I, for Dark Souls 3. I want to get some biscuits. We can prepare them for you. <laughs> Maybe. Not the same way. Biscuits take a little longer, but, you know. We'll have biscuits there for you to chomp on while your chicken's table cooking. Tableside table side biscuit frying. Oh, yeah. Or, like, fried donuts. Those are always delicious. We can do anything oh. in that fryer. Maybe fried everything is just good, yeah. made in the fryer. It's just every table has a fry station, and it's like a hibachi-style thing where there's always a chef there, and he's anything you want to toss in that fryer, he'll do it right in front of you. Oh, my we, God. We could, <laughs> this, is such a... this gets better and better the more I think about it. Raven a Rose says the fryer at the table does exist. Oh! Someone's still wired you. I don't know. We need more deeds. Yeah, we need to go to this place so we can scope it out, see what they do, and then we can steal it and improve upon it. I mean, yeah, it says, it says Hot Pot is the same. No, I don't think that's exactly the same, but... Yeah, Hot Pot's kind of... Marcus has... We're talking about food. We have someone in our chat named Shrouded by Wings. I know it's supposed to be like, you know, the angel wings or whatever, but... I mean, who I just say? see chicken wings now. Yeah, It might be chicken wings. That's Marcus' fault because Marcus snuck those chicken wings into the movie, th movie theater, <laughs> all right? And then he, he then he, then he's like, oh, you can't bring burgers in, Dan. You brought chicken wings in. That's way worse. Chicken wings are technically less ingredients. It's just chicken. Your burger has lettuce, cheese, tomato, Wait, bread. One of those is a lot louder and messier to eat. You, the brought, the, you brought the entire food pyramid, basically, <laughs> into the theater. Hold on, hold on. Were the chicken wings dressed? No, they were just fried chicken wings. There was nothing on them. Oh, okay. So well, they didn't better. have any sauce. I, I, I maybe no, no sauce. Wings in just there, regular like, fried chicken wings. Yeah. See, less Still messy. You got than, bone. Because your burger probably has like condiments, like ketchup, mustard, mayo. I mean, That's it, it messy. Was, it was Burger King burgers, so like condiments were really irrelevant. A Whopper. <laughs> Is it a Whopper? They don't have real <laughs> condiments on those. Come on. I mean, it's got uh, sauce. They weren't Whoppers. <laughs> they, were, they were the dollar. They were the dollar menu double cheeseburgers. So they were really good. You get what you pay for. Exactly. <laughs> Marcus, what'd you do with the bones then? I kept them in the little cup and then I threw them out afterwards. I'm not a monster. <laughs> I'm a savage. Right. I want to see this. I don't believe any of this. <laughs> I mean, we can go to we, we can go to theater one day, right. Dan, right. and we can do it. No, we're going to test this. We're going to test this. Replay real life. I'm going to sneak in burgers. You're going to sneak in wings. <laughs> and we're going to eat them in the theater and see which one of us gets caught. I mean, I could get you caught by just calling you out. I could just well, snitch Obviously, on you. we're not doing that. I mean, I mean there's no, we didn't establish rules. I could just be like, this guy's got a burger. Somebody stop him. I know. We're, we're establishing them right now. <laughs> this man is terrorizing the theater because he has snuck in some illegal food, and it is ruining my viewing experience. All I hear is him chomping away on his burger. Yeah, you're you're going to say that with a wing in your mouth. <laughs> I'll just be like, I got this here. All right, Marcus, you're coming up on the... Uh... The mini boss that makes most people decide to leave this area and never come back. Dan tips are available, but as you probably have already done this area, I don't think you'll need them. Okay. I wasn't sure if I could walk in this, but it's not. So the one food that has to be banned from theaters, absolutely. In a can. Oh! I'm supposed to talk to this guy. <laughs> don't okay. kill him. I, I, I just, I'm so used to killing everything, I don't trust him. For yeah, two reasons. Two reasons. Juji fruit. Because when it's dark, if you don't like eating the licorice flavor, you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it, no matter what. You can try to eyeball it, but you're gonna get it. Number two, we've all been to a theater where there's like a little green or yellow dot or red dot on the screen. Someone threw a wet juji fruit up there and it's stuck on it. <laughs> all right. I think that's more of a, yeah, okay. Well, sure. Do you remember the movie you were watching? No, but it's it's been many times. It's weird. It's like people bringing in a laser pointer or whatever. It's like, oh, stop. God. I remember that phase when laser pointers were. Bad. I was in elementary school when that was a big thing, so those were confiscated every day. Yeah, stop throwing the juju fruit at So yeah, Plugs, this is definitely one of the people, the bosses, that gets asked for Dan tips a lot. And there are some extreme Dan tips for this dude. But again, Marcus has had this uh, experience before, I believe, so I think he'll be all right, but we'll see. He's awesome. There are like a lot of different methodologies. There's like, uh, the first time I beat this guy, I used all the damn chips. <laughs> this guy, I, you saw I had a little, my little buddy there was helping me out. He's dead now. But, yeah, he is dead. He was a good distraction. 
He is very good at that. He is one of the day tips for this fight, but it's rather obvious. Um, this guy is like ultimate Honda Daddy. Like he's the daddy of daddies. He's, he's, a, he's a big Honda Daddy. Honda Granddaddy. Yeah, just try it. That's the new model. The other boss is first. This guy's kind of chompy, Shit. and Marcus has that extra attack power to help. Oh, that shield guy is. Yeah. I don't think you'll need Dantip for this encounter, but if you do, they're here. What's he doing? He's spit on his bleed. Oh. Mm. Okay. Okay. Put some oils on his blade. He's a witcher, apparently. Mm -hmm. Poison. Yeah. Poison. Poison. So we give it one more chance here. We got to get out of here right at yeah. four. Okay. Gotcha. So. Or right before. Do we have time to get there again? Yeah, oh, yeah, it it's, it's very quick. They put you right here. Anyways, I kind of snuck past everybody that was between me. Nice. Go. You know, back when I did this encounter at the From Software office, that, that dude didn't respawn if he died. So you never got to use him again. Dan, do you think it'd be cool to play a Dark Souls game with now? this kind of... Do you think it'd be cool to play a Dark Souls game with this kind of mobility? I mean, they've been getting there. Uh, they've never gone quite this far, but they've been yeah. getting there. Like, like Bloodborne, super fast. Dark Souls 3, so much faster than 2. Too fast this than is, 1. Yeah, this is... You're but, flying up on the building tops and... They keep going faster. And yeah, I think I think we're going to see some of that in Elden Ring. Well, at least in the open world. Like with the, the launching mount and everything, just straight up into your mountainside. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think that they have been attempting to make souls faster continually. I think this is obviously on the very far end, but I think souls is going to keep getting faster. I think they like it fast. Takes away a little of that kind of creeping fear of going into a building or up a staircase for the first time and a boulder coming down at you or someone being right around the corner. They're, they're always able to make those traps that you're going to hate. Right. Yes, I, yeah, I, I trapped. Trapped. yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy is an well, like I said, I, I will bet anyone anything there's going to be a poison swamp without the ring, okay? Like, it's not even... <laughs> <laughs> like, whatever you want to throw down, let's do it. So now your horse is going to get poison too. I, it could happen. It's gonna do a little horse cough. It's gonna be really sad. <sighs> Friend is dead. It's okay. He uh, was a means to an end. Yeah, this is a very. Like I said, if you end up needing help, I guess we'll hit it with you next week. If you're not gonna have time. But... Yeah. Uh, there's another awesome boss fight right after this one, so that'll give us plenty of stuff to. Oof. Oof. We like Dark Souls 2 here. Uh, yeah, I love Dark Souls 2. A lot of people don't. Um, and I have tried to give people, show people the way on how to get started in Dark Souls 2. A lot of people just complain that it doesn't have the responsiveness and the iframes of the Dark Souls 1, which is true at onset. As I always say, you got to go put those 20 points into adaptability first or whatever it is. The exact number I forget, you got to Google it. But get those points in first and the game will play smooth butter and you're going to love it. Dark Souls yeah. 2, the only one, the only Souls like without Miyazaki is Director? Yes. Wait. Yes. Okay. It's interesting. You know what? I don't care what anybody says. The so called B team did an incredible job on that game and had lots of good ideas, and it is an awesome game. It just, uh. Adaptability was a mistake. I don't think anyone's going to deny that. A lot of other stuff in that game is really smart. And again, uh, the adaptable style it really is, is once you get once you get the hang of what you know what you're doing, just put a few points in and forget about it. Ooh. Oh, Marcus. Jerry's missed. Right? Oh, Marcus. Oh, boy. I made a wrestling reference. Marcus didn't react. Oh, no. Marcus I, is trying. I, I love Marcus is Jerry. doing... Marcus is doing wrestling right now. Japanese bus ball. Yeah, the Shrine of Amana 
free skull of the first sin was also ridiculous. I think I mentioned that level specifically in my review. It's so ridiculous, I forget. I know I talked about it at length. It was really, really punishing. I think that might be one of the most punishing levels of all of Souls games. Marcus, you got this. You got this. <laughs> this is just a PSA now. Oh, these guys are just, <laughs> just hanging out. I like that they're not rushing me. Yeah. This is the first Sekiro boss I got a chance to fight, ever. We went out, out there for that cover story. Did you beat it? I did not beat this game. Well, that would have been this off. You know, I told you, this is hard. You know, I didn't also have time to, to bring in my ninja strategies, right? It's, it's so much different when you're just playing a room full of people and they're disrespected to go in. You know, the traditional way. When I use some ninja tactics to beat this guy the first time. Now I have a much better idea of his moveset. Like everything else in front software, you know. I think he yeah, was probably... Dan was... Go ahead. Go ahead. I, I said I think he was probably actually tuned a little bit harder uh, during that demo as well. Yeah, never know Miyazaki how. just had his hands on your head like this the whole time. <laughs> he was just You're pushing in You're as hard as he could. <laughs> That is generally how my interaction with Miyazaki goes. So. Yeah, he just reaches <laughs> to Dan's it. head. It's really weird. He just squeezes. <laughs> yeah. He just, uh, he's like, he's like, is it hard now? Is it hard now? <laughs> he just covers your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, God, I wish I had some shurikens to throw at him. Chip him down. Yeah. Oh, uh, no, you can still take this. I can. That's exactly right, Shredder. Yeah. Basically, he just keeps doing things to me while I'm playing until he's like, well, is the difficulty level good now? Is it challenging yet? <laughs> ah! Sorry. No! Oh. oh, he broke my posture. And I was open. All right. That was a really good attempt, Marcus. Yeah. We got lots to do next week. We do. Nice job, though. And, and glad we've recovered with the tech issues. Sorry, everyone, again, for the late start. But we'll try to get it uh, worked out more next time. And, uh, you know, tell your friends about the stream. It's good fun. Uh, lots of talk about food and different topics at times. But uh, like, share, subscribe. And uh, we'll be back in seven days. We'll see you then, everyone. Bye. Bye.